Tonight, a Fort Worth family believes they are one step closer to justice. Police arrested a man on murder charges under a new law aimed at ending the fentanyl crisis. Tonight, Candace Sweat talks with the parents of a young man whose life was cut short. He would get up and come and be like, hey, mom, what's her breakfast? You know? Myra Uribe says her son Matthew didn't come down for breakfast the morning of November 6th. I just had that feeling like something's not right. So I ran and got the key that we have to open all the doors and I just found him. I found him and I kind of lost it. <laughs> she says she jumped into action. I started doing CPR on him. It was just a nightmare. An entire nightmare. Matthew never regained consciousness. At just 21, he died of a fentanyl overdose. Now, four months later, there's been an arrest. Fort Worth police say 21 year old Ramiro Limon was charged with murder, permitted by the passing of House Bill 6. Police released a statement to NBC5 that reads in part Fort Worth PD narcotics officers developed probable cause to charge Ramiro Limon under the new fentanyl murder statute for delivering fentanyl to a person who died from injection. It. Aribe says Matthew struggled in the past with substance abuse, but he'd been working for months on his sobriety. His heart was just compassion for everybody and anybody. Both Matthew's mother and father say he knew Limon, the person police say supplied him with the fentanyl. It's fair, is fair. Whatever the law is to crack down on these people, and if the method's going to work, then I'm. I'm I'm for it. As for Matthew. He was strong, he fought. To remember him, the impact he did to every person that he spoke to, every heart that he touched, remember him that way. In Fort Worth, Candace Sweat, NBC5.